did you guys see that game? Like, I'm, I'm not talking about the results of the Super Bowl. I'm talking about, like, did you see the game? It looked so good. Today, I want to talk about why the Super Bowl looked so damn good. Right, okay, this video isn't about, like, whether you're a fan of the Chiefs or of the Bucks. Doesn't really matter. I want to talk about why the Super Bowl looked so damn crispy this time around. Specifically, I'm talking about some of these end zone shots and, like, intermediate shots when people call timeouts or there was a break in play and we saw this beautiful, like, depth of field, full frame look in a Super Bowl. <laughs> and that's because it actually was the full frame look. CBS actually used Sony full frame mirrorless cameras to make this happen. And, and they stole it from Fox. Seriously, Fox debuted this like back in December um, with a Seahawks game. And they actually called it the Megalodon. Now, when you picture a Megalodon, you think of something epic, something huge, something you've never seen before in terms of cameras, right? No. This was just a Sony a7R4 on a Ronin S. And they basically used the Sony a7R4 to get a cine shot that they would use as an end zone shot. And there's actually a quote from a guy named Mike Davies, who's the VP of field operations. And he said, throw a transmitter on it and let's see what we get. And they liked it so much that they put it into the game the following Sunday after they were doing field tests with this new rig. And it's literally just a Sony a7R4 on a Ronin S. And with the setup, they used autofocus for the lens and they remapped the focus ring to attach to the zoom ring so they can zoom the camera and it can be a one person operation. It was really simple. And I was looking at this rig and I was like, oh, Fox Sports and CBS Sports are using rigs that me and my friends are doing and we're all doing it the exact same way. Like, I, I, but so I had to ask myself why, like why was CBS and Fox doing this? And I just had to zoom out mentally and kind of think about the environment that we're in. We're in a, a, a world where sports events are populated more by cardboard cutouts than they are by people. And that is inherently like one, very frustrating, but two, it really takes you out of the moment that you get with, you know, being at a sports event. So by adding this depth of field and giving it that cine shot, you really bring some of that feeling back. It, it is very inviting and it, and it feels like you're right there with them. It's that cinematic feel that you get when you get swept up by a story. That's exactly the kind of tactic that these sports broadcasters are using and it's working really well. Not to mention, it's also way cheaper. Like a normal Steadicam setup with a normal broadcast camera from Sony runs around like $200,000. This setup with a Ronin S and you know, a Sony a7R4, even at its most expensive setup is probably around, I don't know, $10,000? That's like a 20th of the cost. So bringing a full frame cine shot into the world of broadcast sports is both really good for an audience that can't be there and really great for the camera operators that have to be there because it cuts down on the cost for them to operate. And it also makes it a lot easier because they're using, I don't know, like a fifth of the amount of weight that they would normally have to lug around for a three hour sporting event. I'm actually really excited about this happening because one, it's just a really cool progression to the world of broadcast sports. And also the implications in other sports is gonna be really interesting. I think we're gonna start seeing depth of field in cameras like basketball, because basketball is inherently very congested. And it's, there's a lot of people in a very small amount of space. And I think adding something like a shot with a really shallow depth of field and a really cinematic look is gonna not only bring you into the environment, but it's gonna make that environment way more visceral and you're gonna feel the tension and you're gonna feel the energy on the court when you're watching the basketball game. I'm really excited about this. So yeah, CBS may have stolen the idea from Fox, but the cool thing is we as viewers get to reap the benefits of them trying to one up each other. So if you're anything like me, you're gonna enjoy that heck out of this. Thanks for watching. If you like it, thumb it. If you love it, sub it. And I will see you Thursday. Peace.